Hey, what's going on guys? Jeremy with Southern Well Company. Went out and took a little break on the bike. Time to get back to work. Going to do another video on the uh, Aspect 375. We're going to talk about the uh, water cooler today. Let's get off the bike and get to it because if I don't get off right now, I'm going to take back up the road and go ride again. So let's go get to it. Okay guys, I had an electrician come out got the plug wired up, we got the machine all set up. The first thing that you gotta do is address the cooler. When you get the ready pack, it comes with a Cool Art 47, it comes with all the accessories that you need. The first thing that you're gonna notice is this little hose is gonna be connected here. So what you're gonna wanna do is put about a gallon, this right here. Now Lincoln sends two gallons with the ready pack. You're gonna wanna put some kind of low conductivity coolant. You never want to use water in these machines. One, it could rust, and two, you're dealing with high frequency. If you ever get a leak, you're gonna get shot. So use the right kind of coolant. This is the Lincoln brand right here. It works great with this machine. And like I said, this is what comes with it. They'll send you two gallons. First thing you need to do is put a gallon of it in this reservoir. And then you're gonna cut the machine on and cut the cooler on. Cooler automatically comes on tell by this green light. Now what this is going to do is it's going to circulate the coolant in through the pump and it's going to help get everything primed and everything like that. So when give it about 30 seconds or so then you're going to shut it off. Then you're going to take the TIG torch that comes with the machine. If you don't have this torch, any torch that you use should be hooked up just the same. It's going to come with this and Lincoln has labeled it where you got water in, you got water coming out and then this is obviously going to be the hookup for the machine itself for the power. So you're gonna hook this back in and then you're gonna start the machine again. And you're gonna let it cycle for about 30 seconds to a minute to let all this coolant get fed through this, through the TIG torch, which this one's 25 feet. This is what comes with the machine. After that, you're probably gonna be a little bit low. Lincoln recommends a little over a gallon and a half. You're gonna fill one of them up, trash it, get the next one and start filling it up. And once you get it filled up, what I like to do is leave the cap off of it and I'll compress the trigger here for the foot pedal and this is circulating. I don't have the ground hooked up to anything. The machine is on and it's circulating. And what it's doing is getting all the air and stuff out of the system. Lincoln says to crack the cap about yay far so we can get all that, all the air out. We checked our levels, we're nice and primed. We're ready to go. On our next video, we're gonna go through setting up the machine, getting everything else set up, and we're gonna go over the controls. So stay tuned for that next video. Appreciate you guys. Like I said, if you wanna know something about this machine, guys, hit me up. Hit me up on the DM, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Let me know what you guys wanna see on this machine. I'll be more than happy to go over it with you. If I don't find the answer, I'll call Lincoln and ask them. But we're gonna get through this thing, but, but hit me up, look me up on, on social media. It's Southern Well Company. I'm Jeremy. Thank you guys.